to do now is dig to a level. So to do this, we go into project first, create a new project, and then save that. And then we basically tell it what task we're going to do. So this time we're going to do a level. And then we're going to use our attachment as a reference method. So click attachment and then tell it which tooth I'm going to use as to mark my reference point. What this now does is basically sets, tells the machine that the height I want to dig to, my finish level. Then in here we can apply offsets, so whether it be up, down, and there's multiple levels of offset that you want to set in for i.e. backfilling or trench filling. So we don't need any at the minute. Set that. We then have these two screens, so we can locate these at the minute, where we want them. We can then set the point so that, because we're using the steel wrist, we can set it to work off its a reference point of auto lowest point, so it'll automatically always choose the lowest point of the bucket. We can choose different screens that we want to view, but at the minute we're just going to use these. And then the light bar then is on this side that we can pull out to make as big or as little as we wish. Inside here we can adjust the tolerance values to suit whatever job we're doing. Um, depends on application. So basically, we've set it that's the height we want to dig to a level. And Obviously where it's blue, it's high. This is also giving us a digital reading of the value. And then see the green is where we want to be determined by the tolerance values that we've set ourselves. start now is to dig a trench so we do that by clicking the hard hat in the bottom left hand corner we then make a new project up here then basically got the option to give the project a name for this we're just going to call it project 11 we then tell it what we want to do so we're going to dig a trench so basically we want a line okay but then like before, we've got, we have to set ourselves a reference point, so we have the bucket in, on the ground where we want to start using our reference point. We then tell it which part of the bucket we're using for the reference, so we use the middle. Click set. We then have the line direction method. So we can either use bucket placement, or we can use a compass. I'm going to use the bucket. So. What we do is we then move the bucket to where we want to, the direction we want to dig the line to. Press centre, again, centre of the bucket as my reference. Click set. We've then got a line offset, so we can put offsets in, so depth. So for this, we will dig down 500. We can then set an angle. 
so at the minute we've got a negative 8.3% angle. You can also adjust the line height, obviously, the trench height at the end, which will then obviously give us our corresponding fall on the trench that we're going to dig. But that's all okay. So then we click set. There's then more internal offsets we can use. So if we're doing this with a trench to, to say bury a pipe, we can then do our desired, this will be our finish height. So then we could then put in the, the, tre the trench depth and then say 50 mil higher than that just for pipe bedding. You'll then have say 150 mil for the pipe and pipe bedding on top. And then we could then use this as the finish height. So you can put multiple offsets in. For now, we're just gonna go with zero set and save. So what this is now showing us is the line that we're going to dig. Okay, we can also change the screens and the, the way the screen works. So for this, we will switch on the front of the bucket and the top take off the 3D view. Okay, so what this lets us do is we can then hit the bucket up and salute. And basically we have this line attached with the machine and then our blue line is the trench that we want to dig and obviously here on this foot front view we get the bucket and the centre teeth of the bucket to line up to where we want it to be. Also set because we're using the steel wrist, we can put all to the lowest point, so it'll automatically always move around depending on the lowest point of the bucket. Then when we're ready to start, we pull the light bar out. Just like before, we can set our tolerances. And we can adjust the size of it depending on how we like it. And then we just start digging until we reach our desired depth. trench with battered sides using infield design so to do this we go to the hard hat again in the bottom left to make a new project add a new project up at the top obviously project name for this one's project 5 save that we then come into select the task and we select infield design we've then got profile or a plan so a plan will be to dig out a, a slab, a concrete slab or footings. What we're going to do is a profile. So what this is going to do is generate the profile of the trench, looking at it from a cross section. So there's various different ones we can go, but we're going to go and make a new shape. So it then brings up this screen. So what we do is we plot on it what we want to draw, basically. So we start here, I'm going to do a battered side. 
down to the trench. So we press that button, which then changes the distances. So the depth of my trench I only want to be 0 0.5. And then this distance here, and it needs to be 0 0.5. So we This one will then show us the angles that we have. And that's basically now the cross section of our trench. Okay, so we set that. We then click the start point for the trench, so we'll click the top up there, and then we click set. We can then even draw the path on the screen or we can place it with the machine. So what we're going to do is we'll draw the path. So basically the path just comes straight down here like that. So that's now seven meters long trench. So then we can set that. We now place this shape onto the ground, so we can click that point, and click that point, and click set. So all we do is, with the bucket, we use that tooth to plot it there. And then we bring the dipper in, and as you can see, the drawing's spinning. Sets in, but we don't need to do that. Zoom out, and here's our shape. Obviously, our excavator here, and that's the shape that we're trying to achieve. So we can pull our light bar out again. And basically, we can also add another screen. So if we put from a front view. See the bucket. It's on auto lowest point. Start. So then we can see the shape that we're trying to make on here and here. 